Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. We are on the last chapters of this run. It's month number 16 or 17, so it's really been a long time. Uh, this is uh, just the final uh, lap to get our uh, prime team uh, ready, a steady go. And uh, this is uh, the, the supply run here uh, for us is a bit of a showcase as well. I want to test uh, another combination now that we do have the skirmisher. Um, uh, that was one of the units which we haven't really looked much into. Um, let's see how he does compared to uh, the other uh, colonels. It's a very difficult mission, um, at least that's what it says. Supply rates are usually difficult, but I am confident that uh, with uh, this team we will have a good chance of actually doing it. Um, I haven't given either of uh, the two uh, any sort of special weapons, so this here is just standard equipment that you could have uh, in the end game. It's just two high-level soldiers with very standard equipment. I think that's a fair representation. Um, um, of how hard it would be if you, if we wouldn't have any of the alien equipments or any of the extra ability points. After this mission, I think we're almost done with the covert ops, uh, which means only one more covert ops, and then we should be ready. Uh, we need to wait until month end because uh, I want to get the... Um, uh, the, the new resistance order that increases uh, the weapon upgrades. That's going to be huge. That's uh, another boost for us. Good enough. And the game gave us another operative. Perfect. Good. We're going to eliminate all hostiles. You can um, be very sure about that. But first things first. Let's get spotted out and pull the entire map. Uh, that is our typical strategy right here. Very well performed. Exquisitely performed, to be uh, precise. Okay, so we could uh, do that. Let me just shortly see. We do have death from above with her, but clearly can't uh, do that yet. Capacitated discharge would work. Moving in with the trooper works as well. I think one thing that we could do is we could remove the cover back here. Putting the lead officer to us. You are just I like it. Good. We do have um, we do have um, blade storm, so we can kill him next turn when he moves. And in terms of saturation fire, yeah, that's not the right uh, time to use it, but we certainly could. We need to get into cover though. Affirmative. 
Nice little capacitator discharge. Should at least soften both of them up. There we go. Nice. Both of them are also disoriented. Which means this here is a kill and this here is another kill. We, lose, we used a lot of cooldowns now though, so I don't make any mistake. Uh, this here was by no means a normal turn. However, given that we uh, were essentially just pulling two packs, it's actually a, an okay turn. I mean, could go here, but that would probably not not be advisable. We could go up to here, or here, or here. Let's try to crit him. There's a, a solid chance that we will do that. And unfortunately, not uh, was unfortunately not happening. But since uh, the skirmisher was anyways in the open, uh, exposing us here really didn't make any difference. They don't get any bonus for being closer to the target. One more turn and our grappling hook will be back. For now we are okay with an overwatch trap here. There is definitely a pack on the other side. Again, let's slowly but surely move up and pull two packs. So that's how we roll. That is how we roll. Okay, so that is positive. We could. Hmm. Let's try to hit the gatekeeper. That's a really, really good start. Now, time for a Comet Presence. And I'm wondering... Eh, we probably have pretty good chances of actually hitting them. Um, grappling over here would even give us... 
better chances. Yeah, I think we should go for high ground to make sure that our uh, saturation fire is going to work. Okay. Almost got him down. We gotta uh, hit the heavy mech because he has rockets and the rockets hurt just way too much. All right. So, a protocol to give us uh, an overworld shot, but also some better uh, defense. And then we're looking at the gatekeeper. Hair trigger, even better. Oh, wow. Yep, it's a pretty packed map. It's, I think it's fair to say that this year is a pretty packed map. Okay, so, reload. And let's see if we can deal with them. Luckily we do have cover. immune thank you um, I don't even want uh, the mind control from the priest Yeah, we can we can't get any closer. But the vipers are going to ignore us mostly, I suppose. So might as well move here. That'll only expose us to this one viper. We're going to kill the um, Spectre. But it's important uh, that we're dealing some damage because this turn actually is a little bit fucked up.
Of course, we're dealing minimum damage. I was hoping that that wouldn't be the case, to be honest. one option. I really don't want to deal with a specter, so making the conscious decision to eliminate the specter. Okay, so much for ignoring him, or not ignoring him. Ah, wonderful, we got ourselves a nice little uh, standoff, good old Mexican standoff. So we need to give them a good target. The trooper certainly is a good target. The shield bearer will probably get a hit off of uh, us, uh, but we will have the option for blade storms or retaliation, which is good. That's a mistake because whomever he's holy warring, we will get a two for one kill. I was hoping that that would happen. He had no more um, cooldowns left. Yeah, that's probably uh, the trooper going down. Okay, so a protocol on ourselves, so we get threat assessment. Let's kill the priest. That'll be the two for one. Good, we're continuing to follow this guy. Yeah, let's kill him. Okay, and that will trigger an overwatch shot, which is hopefully going to hit. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I mean, the skirmisher is okay. It feels uh, like uh, the specialist being more the VIP in this mission or the MVP in this mission. 
Death from above uh, definitely makes a huge difference in these uh, two man missions. Um, I think that's a bit of a shortcoming for the skirmisher that he does not even have the chance to get death from above. I'm always pleased when the troops return without any reported casualties. Can't hope for a better outcome. Oh my gosh. 200 supplies, lots and lots and lots of other stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with how the skirmisher performed. It uh, wasn't the strongest combination, but certainly is one that uh, could be used. Inside Knowledge is really, really good. I would want to have uh, that uh, resistance order before we um, engage. And here we can recruit another Reaper for nine dodge on top of it. It's going to be Templar and uh, Roby together, seven days. Um, So we're definitely going to do one more mission after that because uh, until month end it's still 13 days. But there isn't much happening because we have pretty, pretty won't be easy. easily beaten the aliens in the last few missions. Research is progressing as expected, Commander. I had fully expected. New objectives added. Good. So we theoretically do have uh, the last missions available, so we could we have the target side locked in, Commander. Give it a uh, could give it a go, but not yet. Show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back. Dodge has increased, perfect, and we got Colonel Elise uh, Ertz. I hope you've got room for one more. You made an impression on one of my vets, and they've decided to come serve on that ship of yours. Willpower, promotion, here's another dodge plus six and ability points. That's pretty much what we need, ability points and dodge plus six. Um, so before we go, let's double check Hogbite and, um, and Roby. By the way, got a new soldier here. Remote start, yes, very strong ability. Shrapnel, yes. Um, extra claymore, yes. Homing mine, yes. Sting, yes. Silent killer, yes. Easy, but we'll see this thing through to the end, no matter the costs. Banish, yes. And I think we're going for tactical rigging. Okay. Cool. Superior scope. Uh, where is Superior Expanded Magazine? Repeater, hair trinker, a trigger, there we go, advanced magazine. And I would say we're giving her a little bit extra mobility. There we go. So what I what we originally wanted to do before uh, that came in our way is uh, to double check uh, how well we're doing. So Dodge is now at 83, which means uh, he is certainly over 100 uh, once the focus fills up. I don't know if there is a soft cap. I think there is one at 90% uh, Dodge. 
Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even sure if uh, the game designers have ever thought that someone would be so crazy and stack dodge up to 100%. Well, joke's on you. I just did it. Um, yeah, we're going to increase his dodge, so that will be mid-30s, 35. If we would give him a different, um, a different uh, PCS, we would even reach mm. if we would give him a different PCS we would even be able to reach over 50% dodge not sure if I want to do that yet oh wait a second almost forgot I'm sorry we've constructed the ring facility commander but currently we don't have any soldiers deployed on covert actions with the resistance so here we go. Uh, that is Roby and Hogbite. No soldier wounded. Let's go. Good. So it seems that the supply drop is about to come. Or the game is about to crash, either way. Okay. That is very strange. What is going on? Okay. It seems as if the game has just crashed. Sorry for that. Um, I think it's a good... Um, ending point for today's uh, uh, for this uh, stream or for this mission I'll fix uh, the game and we'll be back uh, once I uh, get it uh, back to run um, anyways not sure what that here means um, this really doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, whatever. Thank you for watching, um, and we're going to see each other in the next mission. Thanks so much, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.